More! It's the end of the week. No, it's not. A Wong Fu week. It's Wong Fu whenever! Today, I'm excited to be sharing one of my favorite things to do. If you're like me, you like the occasional group hangouts, but it's the one-on-one -on -one connections that really bring me joy. That's why I'm so excited that Wong Fu is working with McDonald's to create a fun chance for me to catch up with one of my favorite people, Justin Rod. You might know him from the J-Rod Twins or some of our videos that he's been in, but he's actually one of my closest friends that I feel like I can share anything with. So today, we're gonna have a little picnic over some spicy chicken McNuggets. Yep, you heard that right. McDonald's introduced them last year, but they brought them back for a limited time. It actually got me thinking. I have a fun idea that can make this picnic a little bit spicier. Let's see if Justin's up for it. Calling, calling. Hi, Justin. Yeah, how are you? It's been a while. Would you be down to catch up? I, I'm thinking we can go on a little picnic. Yeah, I'm so down. Um, what are we gonna eat though? I'm gonna bring McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets. Hmm? Ooh, I've been wanting to try those. Really? I also have an idea. What do you think if we ask each other spicy questions to go along with the theme? You know I'm always down for spicy questions. Okay, exciting. It's been kind of like rainy outside though, so is that gonna be okay? Don't worry about that. I got that covered. Um, just bring yourself and 10 questions. All right. Okay, I'm down. Let's do it. All right, okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. This is gonna be fun. All right, we're here. Look at our cute little picnic setup. Got Justin here. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so cute, I love it. So we got our spicy chicken McNuggets here and I got my spicy questions ready. Do you have yours ready? Oh yeah. I'm kind of curious. I'm actually curious to see if I yours know. are spicy enough. <laughs> oh, Mine enough. are definitely spicy. You're true. I know, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in. Let's do it. Mm, so excited. excited. It's my first time trying the spicy McNuggets. <gasps> Little nervous, excited. I like the flavor. It's good. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit of a kick. Is it too spicy for you? No, oh, this is perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Now that we set the tone with the spicy chicken McNuggets, let's get into the questions. What's something you're excited to do in the new year? I'm just really trying to take it slow this year. Uh, maybe like create some music. Because yes. you know how like Jason and I just um, moved apart after living together yeah. for 29 years. I think uh, we're just gonna really focus on ourselves and I, I really, I'm really excited to pump out some music on my own. Yeah, I feel like I've been wanting to see that from you too. And like, you, you already posted some covers. I did, I'm starting so slowly. I um, got just doing little mini covers and hopefully that leads to like more longer. No, whenever you guys post covers, covers I'm like, it's just, it's just so, it feels good. Yeah, Aww, just thank very you. heartwarming. So. Thank you, yeah, you're like one of our biggest cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you want to try for the first time? First time? Mm -hmm. I feel like, well, there's a lot of things I always want to do. You know, like my crafting list is always like ongoing and growing, but I want to try something like more activity based, like like roller skating or rollerblading. I used to when I was little, but- Don't you ice skate too, right? Yeah, but okay. like you know, ice rinks are not open right now. You know, parks, sidewalks are open. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, yeah, to invest in a pair of roller skates, that'd be fun. Yeah, just something to keep me active and like moving. Yeah, I think that's perfect for the pandemic right now too, right? Yeah. Cause you can be outdoors, and you're already naturally a really talented ice skater, so I feel like you'd be really good at roller skating too. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You're loving this. Hmm? So good. Tell me something about yourself that you haven't shared yet. <laughs> I feel like oh there's gosh. a lot. Did you know that I can clap my feet together? I, you know what? <laughs> I do know that because you of know your. That? <laughs> I watched your vlogs. Oh, you did? Yeah, I vividly remember like you two, you and Jason, like clapping your feet <laughs> at the park or something, right? I don't yeah, know. It was yeah. like some video. How I would clap my feet is I would lay on my belly on the ground. Yes. And then have my feet in the air, and then they would just clap together like this. People can attempt it, but it's it's pretty hard to actually make a good clapping sound because you have to your feet have to meet like at a perfect angle. I don't think I've it tried to, to do that. You want to try it right now? No. <laughs> You ready? This one's juicy. Okay. Really juicy. Is it? Tell me about your first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first boyfriend. I was 18. And my, at the time, I felt like it was late. But like now, I'm like, I was such a baby. Like, you know, because people get really self conscious about, I haven't had my first kiss yet, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, you're a freshman in college. <laughs> like, it's fine. Where, where are we? Griffith Observatory Ooh, that's at romantic. nighttime. It was my first time there. It was really, it was pretty. It was, it was, it was great. Who initiated? <laughs> he did. He did? Yep. Describe to me how it went though. Like, <laughs> did he lean in? Did he 
You guys like think... looked at each other, and then you guys were both looking at each other's lips, like no, in the no, no. It was kind of like set up in a way because he, so he asked me to be his girlfriend, and then he was like, "Close your eyes," <laughs> and then he kissed me. Oh yes. So I was like, "Oh, I am awkward." Cute. That's cute that he told you to close your eyes. <laughs> That's a cute story. Hey, the wait was worth it though. That's really Sorry. romantic, actually. You guys were like stargazing. For me, it's not as exciting. Yeah. I kissed my third grade. Third girlfriend. grade. Yeah, I kissed my third grade girlfriend. Obviously, I didn't really have feelings for her. It was just kind of like the cool thing to do to have a girlfriend yeah. at the time. And I, I just asked her if she wanted to kiss me, and then we just kiss each other wow, in the, in the that playground. Wow, that easy. Our, our that school. easy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> not that exciting. It's cute. It's cute. Da -da -da -da. Okay, describe what you think my ideal type is. Hmm. <laughs> Personality or physically? Both. <laughs> Okay. Actually, I'm not too sure because oh. I feel like I've never seen you in a relationship before. And so it's hard for me to say. I talk to you about, you know, crushes and stuff. You do. Okay. He's Asian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's smart, empathetic. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think you care about muscles so much, right? <laughs> do you do? <laughs> she cares about muscles, guys. Take notes. I like okay, you like, like a super mass, masculine, super masculine yeah, look. Okay. Yeah. So muscles, yes, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but not too buff. We like it's like, ooh, you work out. But yeah, like the, the empathy. That's I think that's it's an important thing. Yeah, like emotional intelligence and just like being able to connect on that wavelength is really important. Because I'm yeah. like, I can do it with my friends, right? I think that'd be very integral to have in a relationship. Yep. Yeah. Hundred percent agree. Yeah, Asian would be nice just to um, you know connect on a cultural level and just like you already get it, you know. Yep. But they don't have to be that. I think just like coming from like an immigrant type of family and stuff like that. I think just, that's nice. Yeah. Um, yes, intelligent, just to have intelligent conversations. Like you're not just talking about superficial stuff. You can talk about worldly things, theories. I don't know, just like has to be funny. Like, I think I like the don't take yourself too seriously type of guys. Like you're just like really, you don't care what people think about you. Um, tall's nice. <laughs> Five ten to, you know, six two. That <laughs> you're, you were there. Okay. Kind of, yeah, sure. Okay, we want the questions to be a little bit spicier, so let's start dipping. Bring it. I'm gonna dip into this mighty hot sauce. Mm. <laughs> you feel that? Spicy. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. If I was your SO, what kind of date would you take me on? <laughs> I feel like with us, we can do something really simple and we just have a blast. Like we had a date already before okay. where we yeah. ate your rooftop and mm -hmm. stargaze. You, yep. were, you were like stars, don't you? I do, <laughs> you I, like, like I like views. Yeah, you like views. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like we could just do something really simple. Maybe even like do something crafty. Ooh. Like make cards together. Okay. Maybe paint. That's cute. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. the park, like paint our view paint, in pick, front of us. A paint party, picnic. Yeah. I've always wanted to do that, yeah. Okay, so what kind of date would you take me on then? I, I don't know, I feel like you enjoy the same things I do. Like we can just chill out and like like you said, we do anything. Mm -hmm. But maybe go to the beach specifically and just do some like random activity, like riding like tandem bikes. Mm -hmm. And then go like to a cafe Aww. and then watch the sunset Aww, and talk about romantic. life and we just talk. Yeah. I think that's the bulk of it. I feel like we just have to have conversations. Which is what we usually do anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> it sounds like a typical hangout. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I feel like dates should be, you know? They shouldn't yeah. be so like extravagant and stuff. It's like, Too it's just- Too try hard, just, yeah, yeah. Just hanging out, enjoying each other's company, right? Okay. Okay, you ready for this one? Nope. <laughs> or what's something weird that you find attractive? Something weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like the things I find attractive are so basic, like a lot of girls think are attractive in a male. I feel like when someone is yeah, just being really like embarrassing themselves, I don't know, like to me that's attractive. Mm. Like, like it seems like maybe to other people like really weird or like they're being weird. But I'm like, oh, I kind of like that they don't care what people think of them. That's true. And that they can just have fun and be a kid. Cause yeah. I think I love being like a kid and like- Yeah, like they're like, not afraid Woo! to make a fool of themselves. Yes, and, it's and like, I'm like- yeah. Would you prefer best friends turned lovers or enemies turned lovers? Just like, kind of like yeah, K-drama vibes. <laughs> oh, either they grew up together, like the um, and the couple eventually gets together, just they kind of tease each other and whatnot, but they know each other so well, but never think they're gonna date, but they do date. Yeah. Or that they hate each other so much, but that fiery passion turns into love. Which one? I feel like the friends turning into lovers 
sounds really nice and magical in theory. It, it just sucks. Like if you in were to life, break yeah. up, that would be such a waste oh, of a friendship, yep, you know? I know that. So, <laughs> Dating within mutual friends. Yeah. Yep, that sucks. And so I feel like I would rather choose enemies turn to lovers. But, because if you guys break up, then you didn't have that close friendship before. Aww. So you're not losing as much. But, 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 but what if it works? What do you mean? Like the best the friends. friends, yeah. I don't know, that's kind of risky. You're the realist. Kind of you're, kind of you're the realist. I'm the, I'm the yeah. optimist. I say that, but I don't know if I would do it either, but the, the sauce is kicking in. I know, right? Do you feel it? Yeah, but it's so good. I just want to keep dipping. Like my nose is getting kind of runny. <laughs> have you ever ghosted anyone? You know what? Technically, I feel like I have. I think this was back in college or like earlier when I feel like I didn't know how to face my emotions as much. Like face, like comp confront other people about like hey i don't like you and like i don't like your attention and i was just like the easy way was just you know to ghost so i feel mm. like i did do that but didn't really think about like the repercussions or whatnot but now i know and i'm like okay i also i avoid any sign of it <laughs> like if i even see like oh it's getting towards that, i'm like Oop. you want to be the first one to end it instead of having <laughs> them end it i guess uh, but now it's like a little bit more like moralness. Like I, I know like I it's bad to ghost, you know, it's better to like to have that conversation at least. But I will never get to the point where ghosting is even like an option, if that makes sense. So Okay. <sighs> is the spice level <laughs> is it kicking for you? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. What is a deal breaker you have? To be honest, I don't have many deal breakers, but I feel like um Oh really? If I had to choose something it would be if someone was not willing to try new foods. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but no, here's the thing, like for me, mm -hmm. like I'm the type of person that doesn't dislike any food. Like right. I love my bitter are, melon, yeah. I love my stinky You're tofu. I love, I love like all kinds of food. They have to at least be willing to try it. Mm -hmm. Like if they're not even willing to try it, then that I could see that being really tough long term right it's just i think that carries it to other things that attitude like oh you're not willing to be open to other things right? yeah. i'm like that's true i feel like it's so like you to not really have like red flags it's just like i'm very giving open. and like open about it mm -hmm. that's great what's one thing on your list what if they're emotionally immature what if they're, mm. you know yeah. um can't take care of themselves i don't know mm. when's the last time you cried over somebody And don't say K-drama. Do you remember that time you like video called me and like you were like, were you just crying? That was the first thing you yep. said. <laughs> you are like, your eyes your are eyes red. Your eyes were all red. I started you were trying light, to hide it. And I straight up totally lied to you. I was like, nope. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, all right. And we kept talking and an hour later, I was like, yeah, I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the last time. <laughs> but I, I just thought it was funny, that story. Because you caught me like red handed. <laughs> well, yeah, I knew. I knew you were lying too. Because I could <gasps> see it. But obviously I don't want to push and like, Cry if you're not ready for it, right? Okay, but so, the I was real... trying to be a good friend. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know, last week. Oh, I guess I'm a bad friend then because I didn't <laughs> no, know you cried no, last week. No, no, it's okay. I'm an emotional <laughs> person. I think I just, I like, I think too much, you know? And I just like sit on my thoughts and my emotions too much. And I just let myself cry. Cause I'm like, well, if, I'm, if I need to cry, I just need to cry, right? Thank you. Video call me anytime you need to. Uh, thank you. Although I don't like crying in front of people. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. Well, you know what? It's a good thing to let out your emotions every once in a while, so. Yep, not to bottle it, out, it up. So was it over someone? Yes. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's, you know, we learn, we grow. Maybe one day you'll see it in a Wang Fu short. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I already thought about it, you know, played out the scenes. All right, so we were pretty close before, but I felt like we were on another level today. Mm -hmm. Was it too spicy for you? I mean, we definitely had some spicy moments, but you know, it's always fun with you. We hope you enjoyed watching our impromptu picnic and let us know in the comments what your ideal date is. And hopefully this inspired you to safely reconnect with your friends and family. Be sure to check out McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets for a limited time at a participating restaurant near you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.